The third assumption of t-testive means that we should test is whether the two groups have equal variances or not. There are a number of different tests. Um, I'm going to go ahead and choose Bartlett's test, mostly because it's a built-in function in R and I don't have to load any libraries. And it is also valid if the data are normally distributed. So one of the reasons why you might choose a test different than the Bartlett's test is if your data are not normally distributed. But as we already saw previously, if our data aren't normally distributed, then we can't do the t-test of means anyway. So it shouldn't really matter that we try to use a different test because we don't even need to really run Bartlett's test if our data aren't normally distributed. Running Bartlett's test is actually really simple. The name of the function is simply bartlett.test. And the way that we insert our data is very similar to what we've seen on other kinds of functions where we have X and Y categories. So the X category or the independent variable we put after the tilde, the Y value or the dependent variable we put before the tilde. If these are in a data frame, then we have to add the data equals and then the name of the data frame argument, or we have to specify specifically which data frame they're from by putting the name of the data frame and a dollar sign, but it's a little easier to do it this way. So if we go ahead and run Bartlett's test, we can see that the p-value for Bartlett's test is 0.83. That's very, very much higher than 0.05. So there is definitely no significant deviation of the variances. We can, for all practical purposes, assume that the variances are similar enough that it's not going to be a problem for us to run the t-test.